What's going on, everybody? Jock TDX here. Uh, just going to do a pepper review. Got one of these yellow scorpions that everybody's got from our favorite Alaskan, uh, Sean Clemmer. So I've had it for a couple days now. I thought I'd go ahead and uh, chop it up and eat it for you. Bunch of seeds in here for sure. So I'm gonna get a couple of those out. And, uh, seen a bunch of people eat these. Uh, Team Utter took it like a man. And, uh, Reggae Franco 9 ate one as well. Pretty much everybody in the scene is eating them. So there's the inside. A couple seeds left over. I'm sure it's gonna tear me up because it's one of the the first fresh pods of the season, so cheers. Deck walled, as everybody said, very fruity. Hmm. Good scorpion flavor. Definitely has some heat to it. Wow, that's a good pod, Sean. Um, tongue's on fire. I can feel my blood starting to pump a little bit. Um, hmm. Definitely a nice, clean tasting pepper, that's for sure. Uh, whole mouth. Good mouth burn. Um, hasn't really moved past my tongue, but uh, it's definitely starting to build. Um, saying I'm a lot, apparently. Usually, when I eat hot peppers, I end up pacing around the room. Uh, so, I'm going to try and sit here for you and tell you how it goes. But good it's a good all-around burn um, like I said uh, it's moving a little bit back to the back of the tongue underneath the tongue uh, that's a hot one good pepper Sean I have to say that thing was a great flavor um, thick walled like every I mean everyone else has been saying it. I'm just repeating what everybody else is saying so um, at this point but from shipping it from Alaska and then I've had it in the fridge probably a week it's definitely held up really well um, the heat's starting to build a little bit Whew. that's a hot one Definitely a good start to the pod season, that's for sure. I uh, it also, I got a couple of those red monsters that you sent out uh, to everybody. Um, that red monster was tasty as well. Definitely not as hot as this one. Um, had more of a, I'd say, a, ha a hob heat. Um, this one definitely, I mean, it had a, uh, has great scorpion flavor, that's for sure. And that burn is definitely, I can definitely tell it was a scorpion, that's for sure. It got a good sting to it. But uh feels like it's starting to peak now. Um, getting a little hard to talk. Seems like a lot of people get the hiccups when they eat super hots or ultra hots. Um, I don't hardly, I don't think I've ever had the hiccups before, um, but I get a pain in the ears. It starts to itch and like reverberate. It's kind of weird. Um, I've heard a few other people 
getting the same thing, but not many. Mostly, mostly the hiccups. Starting to salivate now pretty heavily. Um, but I don't know that I need a sip, uh, spit cup yet. Um, it's definitely still building. That's a good, that's a, that's a hot pepper. Definitely a great way to start the season for sure. Whew. I feel like I'm repeating myself. The heat. No starting to run. Wow. That's a good that's a it's a hot pepper. Whew. Definitely starting to get a little bit of a throb going in the mouth. Never really moved back to the throat though. It's not it's not one of those peppers where you're I mean, obviously it's still it ranks in the higher than a habanero, but it's a little bit less than a a boot, um, in the higher that hundred thousand range. So it's not gonna give you that overwhelming burn that um you would associate with uh, maybe a Maruga scorpion um, or even the Reaper, um, that unbearable heat that you're, you're getting to the point where you don't know what you're doing with yourself. Definitely feels like uh, it's hit its peak and starting to come back down, at least subside or plateau. Um, but it definitely gets me excited to eat some more chilies as they start coming along. Um, I'm growing a few in the backyard. They're coming up real good. Got them from a uh, friend, Jim Duffy, at Refining Fire Chili. So they're coming along real well. Should see some more pods and from those, I guess, in August or so. Um, so I'll go ahead and be reviewing those once I get them all going. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to bring you some more pod reviews once the season starts kicking full swing. Um, I maybe even throw some hot sauces on there. Um, obviously there are a lot of guys that do hot sauce reviews and I'm probably not telling you anything new, but, um, I'll give you my perspective on a few things if you, if, if you want to hear them. So, um, seems like the chili, the, the, the burns kind of meld out. So I'll go ahead and, uh, wrap it up now. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, Sean, once again, um, thanks for sending a a chili to a, a newcomer to YouTube and uh, it was a delicious chili man. Keep up the good work. All right, guys, take it easy.